unbelievably hot outside. Woo. It's like the heat just drains you. Oh my God. We are under heat advisory until Sunday. This heat makes you really, really tired. I'm so glad that uh, today I have two pre plans on me. So instead of having that short loads where you have to get out and then, uh, you know, like um, drop and hook, I'm going to I'm going to Mount Vernon, which is uh, a little far away. So it gives me an opportunity to just sit, relax, drive instead of doing drop and hooks, and then from there I will go to Paris to do a pickup. So I just love that I have these two long runs. So it gives me the miles and at least it gives me an opportunity just to be in the truck, enjoy the AC and drive. This is where the long runs are really good.
whenever I come here, I don't need to get fuel, and this place is not is not full. Today, when I need fuel, all lanes are, are packed. I'm thinking this FedEx driver will, but none of these guys is on the pumps. So I wonder what's happening. construction or what? Is it one gate open? Well, I can always make a U-turn if there are no signs showing what's happening but I'm thinking the other side is closed but what is confusing me is this side the gate is closed too Usually the gate the gates are open. But if they need me to turn around I can always turn around. I don't know this is going to be kind of like a gamble but I'm gonna try it. Dispatch has told me to go to Paris. There is another customer, uh, Campbell Soup. They want me to see if they will give me an empty there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and see if the, that customer will give me an empty. If not, I may have to try and see if I can just pop tail in. We'll see what will work. Hopefully something works so I can get that load. Funny, when I started uh, driving trucks, I never used to like driving on back roads. These like country roads and small highways, I hated them. Uh, reason being that, you know, like, when you are just starting out, it looks like they are very small. 
you are, you are worried that if you make a, you know, like a wrong turn or if you miss your turn, how are you going to get back on the right track? It can be challenging when you're starting out. But now with the experience that I have, I enjoy these back roads. I just enjoy looking at the scenery, you know, like you're out of the developed uh, quote-unquote world. You are back here where you are looking at huge houses and trees and lakes and, uh, you know, like vegetation. I just love such scenery. So anytime I get an opportunity to drive on such roads, I just enjoy the scenery. I remember when I started driving trucks when I was actually just still in training. I don't remember which state exactly we, we were in, but I was with my trainer. We were on such a, uh, you know, like a, a small road. And looks like either we, I don't remember if we got lost or we missed a turn and my train, trainer was trying to figure out where we are. And remember back then we didn't have, you know, like the Google Maps and all this stuff. It was, you know, like using uh, the big, um, you know, like uh, maps, the books. And so we were trying to figure out how to turn around. So the guy tells me, just slow down, go slow, let's see how, what we are going to do. And it was during morning hours, and so we had, even though it was like a country road, we had like a long line of, of cars behind us. People want to go, uh, you know, like we are, we are trying to figure out where to turn. And so we see this big house with a big yard. And my trainer is like, just turn in there and make, uh, and, and turn around. So I, I, it was like an abrupt turn, like getting off the highway, get into this road and then head back and because we had a lot of cars behind us the guy one of the guy I think was so close to somebody in that I think when I made that abrupt turn uh, some cars crashed into each other you know like they rear ended each other but we had made that turn we were on our way of course it wasn't a, a good move because uh, first and foremost <laughs> Uh, we made it in somebody's, you know, like yard, which means that I don't know if we left any damage on the yard, but also like you could get in there and get stuck in the yard because you don't know how soft that um, area is. But anyway, I just uh, I, I just wanted to let you know that if you are new and you you find yourself on these small uh, roads. I don't be afraid at least now you with you guys who are just coming into the industry you have google maps and if you do a good trip planning you should be fine but i just I, driving these roads just reminded me of those early early days of my my tracking career <music> They've been able to give me an empty. So I'm now gonna head over to my pickup. I made it to Kimberly Clark. The time right now is 8.18. So you see how I told you that chances are by the time I'm done with these loads, that will be it because I figure I haven't yet taken by the way my lunch break so I need to I think when I pick up this load I'm gonna go there is a truck stop I'm gonna stop by get myself a cup of coffee and then just take my lunch break so that my time can reset and then I will head back to to the yard so hopefully I can uh, I'll be back by midnight. If I can make it back by midnight, that will be super cool. So this 
right here is the truck stop that I want to stop at. Take my lunch break and then continue to pass late. Where are all these cars coming from? to clean my windshield all right all right all right I'm done with my break uh, right now the time is 9.39 I'm leaving Heading back to the yard, or well, let me say to the rail, and according to Google, <coughs> it says it will take me more than two hours to get there. And of course, Google thinks I'm going by the by the car speed. So we'll see if I can make it there by by midnight. Because right now, if it's almost 10 o'clock and I have two hours ahead of me, maybe if all goes well, I can make it by, by 10. We'll see. But looks like <coughs> by the time I get there, I won't be able to let you know. So, in that case, I wish you the best. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, stay blessed and stay safe. Have a good night. Or a good day. A good week. Or a good weekend. Whichever. A husband, father, Christian and truck driver Telling you my story and the world through my eyes So keep the faith, keep the faith. let's keep it fresh, keep it fresh. And this is driver success. success Yeah, uh, let's go